everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists in Sweden have discovered a previously unknown mechanism which the brain can use to repair itself following a stroke. The study, conducted at Lund University and the Karolinska Institute and published in the journal Science, examined the brains of mice following strokes. They found that brain cells called astrocytes entered the injured region and converted themselves to neurons, replacing the cells that had been destroyed by the stroke. Researchers also discovered the signaling mechanism used to induce the astrocytes to begin converting to neurons following a stroke. This study is an important first step in finding and learning to manipulate these same neural processes in the human brain, which would be a major breakthrough in the treatment of not only stroke patients, but those who suffer from neurological conditions such as Parkinson's disease and Huntington's disease as well. Next up, a study at the University of Virginia may shed new light on one of the most important events in the evolution of life, the origin of mitochondria. As you may remember from biology class, mitochondria are the power plants of your cells, the organelles that conduct cellular respiration, converting nutrients into chemical energy in the form of ATP. Are you starting to remember this from high school? It has long been known that the ancestors of mitochondria were bacteria who attached themselves to early cells. But the full story of how and why these bacteria eventually became crucial components of most plant and animal cells remains unknown. The UVA study, which sequenced the DNA of 18 types of bacteria closely related to mitochondria, suggests that, contrary to the popular assumption among biologists, the first mitochondria and those early cells they attached themselves to did not have a symbiotic relationship. Instead, those first mitochondria were probably parasites that leached energy out of cells rather than producing energy for them. At some point, that changed, obviously, and mitochondria assumed their present role as valued cellular employees rather than thieves. And two billion years of evolution later, here we are. The study detailing this fascinating new insight into the evolution of life is published in the journal PLUS ONE. And finally, scientists in Singapore have developed a new generation of long-lasting, super-fast charging batteries. The batteries were developed by a team at Nanyang Technological University. Instead of graphite, the batteries use a specially developed titanium oxide gel for the battery's anode. The batteries can be charged up to 70% in less than two minutes and have an estimated life of 20 years. While it would be nice to have a cell phone battery that would last 20 years, the inventors of these new batteries are hoping their greatest impact will be on electric cars. The introduction of a battery that lasts 20 years and can be recharged in the same amount of time it would take to fill up at a gas station could finally make clean, efficient electric motors practical replacements for internal combustion engines in automobiles. Scientists discover how the brain can repair itself following a stroke, researchers gain new insight into the origin of mitochondria, and engineers build a durable, fast-charging battery that could make electric cars as affordable and practical as gas-powered cars. That's the good news. I know. Any final thoughts this week?